hello everyone welcome to this video in this video i am going to discuss that how can you reduce your startup time of your windows pc so in order to reduce your startup time you can actually make sure that your hard drive has some space which uh, uh, actually has a biggest contributing factor but there are some other steps you can follow for this and that's what we are going to discuss in this video so the first thing is you need to make sure that fast startup is enabled in your pc so for that what you are going to do what we are going to do is just go to the settings option so just go to search and search for settings so once you are in the settings app you need to search for power so in the search bar just type in power and sleep settings uh, then in the power and sleep go to additional power settings go to choose what the power buttons do once you are in this option uh, once you are in here you will find out that there is a shutdown settings and in this there is an option turn on fast startup that is recommended that uh, actually describes the issue as that it helps to start your pc in a faster pace after the shutdown and the restart isn't affected that is once you have shut down the pc and once you try to uh, restart it once you try to start it then if this option is enabled then there would be a faster chance of doing that so you need to make sure that this option is enabled for you in case your uh, option is disabled just like mine is now then what you can do is go to this option that says change settings that are currently unavailable so once you do that this option is now enabled you can just uh, toggle it to on make sure this disk sign is visible and uh, click on save changes if you have made any changes then close this and close the settings option also so that is one thing the second thing is you need to make sure that what are the startup options what are the startup programs these are the programs that actually automatically start on every boot of your system and sometimes when there are many of these options many of these programs that have a high priority that have a high impact on the startup time then the startup time increases tremendously so we need to identify those programs and turn them off if they are not uh, needed any longer so what we are going to do for this is just uh, go to the taskbar right click and go to the task manager expand it uh, make sure you are able to see something like this because in here you will get an option of startup so let's just go to this uh, startup option now here you will see a list of the programs that are automatically uh, created that are automatically run on every startup of your pc for your pc this list might be longer or smaller but in my case this is the list i have uh, six to seven programs here so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to identify which all of them have a high startup impact so here the last column is the startup impact so i'm going to identify the pro uh, programs with a high startup impact and i'm going to disable them so the first one that i can see is postman agent which is used for the apis and their communication i do not need it every time i just need it when i'm running any of my node projects so what i'm going to do is just i'm going to right click over here and click on this disable option so once uh, i click on disable then the status changes to disabled that means on startup now this program won't be starting up and this improving my uh, startup speed second uh, program i can identify is microsoft onedrive so again this is a microsoft corporation program which i do not uh, think that is uh, having much more impact on my startup so i'm just going to disable it again so just right click go to disable and this program would be disabled so once you are happy with it once you have disabled all the high startup impact programs or any of the programs that you think uh, you do not need any more uh, then uh, you can just disable them like uh, this uh, uh, Microsoft OneNote Quick Launcher. This also I don't need, although it has a low startup impact. But I can disable this. I can disable WhatsApp as well. So just click on disable it. So just like this, I have disabled a few of my programs, and that should increase my startup speed. To test that, you can just turn off your PC and uh, start it again, and that should have impacted your startup speed. So that is it for this video. Thanks for watching.